Welcome back to the basement yard. Today is me and Danny. Yay, yay. Just hang. Sorry. What was that? I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of Ice Cube. Ice Cube says yay, yay. Yeah, yay, yay. Oh, I don't know. Can yep. you not do that anymore? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're fired. It's fire. It's a it. This is your last episode. It's my third day getting fired. In a row. Yeah. This morning you got fired. What did you get fired for this morning? Um, For beating you twice in a row, Madden. That didn't happen. I beat you twice in a row. I beat you twice in a row, though. That had happened, and then I just beat you twice in a row today. Yeah. yeah. Then you brought your dog I to try and distract dog. me, but it didn't work. It worked for a while. No. Didn't work. It's fine. Um. Anyway, I kind of wanted to start this episode with something that I saw on the internet. Uh, apparently, people are taking the skin off of their dead relatives where their tattoos are and then framing it and saving it and putting it on their wall. Why are you doing that? Pretty gross. Why would you save skin? I think it's a little disgusting, to be honest. What, saving skin? Yeah. Like, if somebody died, like, I wouldn't want to save their skin. Like, I want their tattoo. And I want it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I want it. I understand what you're talking about, but I, I just... Look, it's not the worst thing in the world. Like, you've heard of, like, families, like, saving foreskins. That's not the worst. Wait. And umbilical cords. You've never heard of that? Yeah, that Who happens. Who's saving that? Why they're, would you save a foreskin? There, there are families that do that. Why? To, Where do a, they put it? It's a keepsake. In, like, a, a, like a, what's that called? Like a Tupperware? Not a Tupperware. I think they have, like, little, like, like little jewelry boxes. What was that? Little, little treasure boxes, you know. <laughs> or, like, a, yeah, like a book. They open up and yes. it's like taped in there. Yeah, like baby books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A baby book. Some people eat their kids' umbilical cords. Some people eat the the placenta too. The placenta. The placenta. I've heard. Umbilical cords. I've heard. That I don't know if that yeah. has any. They chew on it like a nerd's rope. Yeah, I've heard of that. Yeah. By the way, nerd's rope. Not Fire. Good. Not good. I, what? Yeah, I wasn't. A, I wasn't a big. Don't fan. do this. Too much texture. There's a lot of good things happening on a nerd's rope. There is, but it's too much happening at once. I don't agree with that. I oh I agree. What about red vines? Do you like red vines? No, I'm not. Uh, whoever like whoever likes what red, red vines, vines over Twizzlers is red, out of their fucking Red vines mind. is like they're like the spaghetti of Twizzlers. So you could pull them apart. Well, I just want to. I do like the pull apart Twizzlers. Those, those are heat. Yeah. I will go on the record and say that Twizzlers are one of the worst candies of all time. Oh, You're out well, of your mind. I, I disagree. Who black has, black licorice Twizzlers? Garbage. Gross. Garbage. Yeah, we can. That's unanimous. Yo, I literally was about to flip out. No, if no, you no. saw my face yeah, just yeah. now, I was like, I was no, like, don't say that. That that's, one is disgusting. No, what, licorice though, dude. I'm having candy. I'm not ha like this is no, but like a Twizzlers is, is really good. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No. Yeah. Compared to the rest of the candy world, it's garbage. I don't know about that. You, you're also someone that used to eat fucking hot tamales like they were going out of style. Hot tamales hot, are good candy. They're good, hot but they're hot not. Hot tamales as, are not good. I'm sorry. Wow, they're fine. They're not. You don't like them a lot. I'm, I you're don't. Not, you're not going to reach for them. No, not Neither like am him. I. Dumb bitches. No. no. Yeah. You're a, if anything, you're a basic bitch. Yeah. Hundred percent. Oh, oh hot, hot tamale. tamale. Yeah. You probably like. Candy you guys were over here eating Twizzlers like you're ninety years old. Ninety. You wear black where? licorice. If you go into a retirement home. There's Twizzlers in every room. Black well, because licorice. Because they are universally Twizzlers. loved candy. Yes. No, they're not. Yes, they are. No. Black licorice you know who is loves an Twizzlers? old person's food. My mom. My Yo, mom loves Twizzlers. Dude, yeah, that's mom, fine. Your mom's great and she's yeah. an older lady. You just made the case for Twizzlers. Your mom likes them. Older women. No, I like I like Twizzlers. He likes Twizzlers. A lot of people out there I, like Twizzlers. I think you're confusing black licorice tw Twizzlers and red. I know what Twizzlers. a Twizzler is. I know, but black licorice is like an old person. Yeah, that's so. garbage. Okay, we, black, we all black agree. Rick 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 Rich. Rick Rick Yeah, Richie Rich. Black <laughs> licorice. <laughs> that was a good movie, by the way. Black licorice. Awful. No one's no one Never. can make a case for that. I'm Never. not going to listen to no, you. No, no, black no. jelly bean, trash too. Oh my why are we making these things? Yeah. Uh, uh, and what's a white garbage. jelly bean? Coconut? Yeah, like a coconut. I was going to get somewhere that I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to go black anything's awful. <laughs> I know you were going to say that. <laughs> but you're talking about candies. Yeah, yeah. Any black licorice candy is terrible. Any, Any licorice is awful. No. Tw well, yeah. Good licorice. plenty? Wow. Yeah, garbage, garbage, garbage. I'd garbage, rather garbage. like eat a whole box I'll, of Tylenol. I'll be honest with you. I'll put good and plenty up there with hot tamales. They're both yeah. They both suck. They both no, suck. Frankie, Frankie. Hot tamales are fine. Everyone you relax. Had, yo, you everyone had, relax. Yo, you had hot tamales to the point where it's like relax. no one on the planet likes these these Frank. much. 
good and plenty <laughs> is not near hot tamales. Yes, yes, it is. is. They're in the same. They're yes, the same. it is. You don't even believe that. Yo, yes, I for, do. This is for the cameras. I really hope it is. We're having a conversation after the cameras <laughs> are off because there's no way that these things are close to each other. Yo, good and plenty's are just as bad, if what, not worse, than hot tamales. What about Mike and Ike? Yo, they're bad too. They're the most Mike basic. And, yeah, Mike and Ike's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> what? Yo, Yo I honestly thought I was, I was I was trying to like get back on your side. No, 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 Mike no. No, I was being nice. Mike and no, Ike is the most basic candy on the yeah. planet. It's, it's all, literally just a long jelly bean. Yeah. It's nothing. If you're gonna jelly call, beans are great. Yeah, <laughs> they're fine. What's not the, all of them? What is the only problem with jelly beans? Not big, en- not big enough. Not big enough. Not big enough. They're basic. They're basic. But yeah, you know what? I'll give you this. If you were to argue that jelly beans were not big enough, cool. You have like. The cool flavors like popcorn yeah. and fucking popcorn jelly beans. Yo, all Mike and Ike's are like cherry, blueberry, green apple, lime, fruit punch. Like they're He's all wrong. Cool. They have like a Hawaiian box. They yeah. have a blue box. Which is like what fucking flavors? Fruit punch. Pineapple. Pine- like you want like I, <laughs> if, if they had like buttered popcorn Mike and Ike's, we would talk. I would fuck with those. Thank you. I'm blown away by this. Here's why. Of all the small box candies that you could have picked. You've picked all the worst ones. You literally pick. They're just like reskinned. Where do you put candies? Yeah, yeah. Where do you put nerds on that? Yo, list? nerds are great. Nerds are the are the king of the little box. The king candy. of little box candy. Mike and Ike's are not in little boxes. Well, well you can well, get them. when you get them in large boxes, sure. But they're in little boxes. You know what I mean? They're I, little box candy. The pound for pound. Yeah, it's like a hundred pound of feathers, hundred pound of bricks type of thing. You Thank know what you. I mean? If you know how they sell the big boxes of nerds, yes, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're more inclined to reach for a big box of nerds than a big box of Mike and Ike's or Hot Tamales? Uh, Any honest, day of the week. I would... Uh, I don't know. Any day of the week. That's a That was a hard fall right that there. Loud. That was loud. Now I got to clean that up. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. You're fired again. Jesus. Yeah, I, I, I'm I sorry. Mike and Ike's... Uh, Mike and I'm Ike's... I'm literally like, I'm about to kill myself. <laughs> Mike and Ike's hot tamales and good and plenty's are they're they're the bottom tier of candies. And this, then like fucking like what are the what are the the, the snow caps? Oh, snow caps are old people stuff. Yeah. Those suck. We yeah. can agree on those. Those are at least. those are bad. Those are bad. Yeah, and they're like eleven. I don't know why they made that like a movie candy. Yeah. Well, like, it's like oh, popcorn of all the shit and these snow caps. It's like fuck these. Snow of caps. all the candy we could put in here, we're gonna put this shit in here. Yeah. I don't even see snow caps anywhere except the movies. Yeah, I don't think I do either. We should get. Rid they're of that. literally in like the bottom rung of every deli, like, and they're untouched. They're yeah, there's like, like dust, dust on ridden. Them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's is that a New York? Yo, thing, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not. Yo, all jokes aside, this is this is a crazy conversation. No, nah, like no. I literally did not think anyone would be like, yo, Mike and I are trash. Yo, we like have, good and plenty. Like, you're really hurting my feelings. It is not but, news here that we have called you Vanilla Joe before. What is Mike and Ike? Hot tamales. You like Twizzlers? Yeah, they're great. They all taste the same. So do how is that vanilla Joe? First of all, you don't even if 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 I was the person that I would be eating like picking Mike and Ike's to eat, I'd be like, oh, let me have a green one now. Let me have a red one. You'd put a handful in your mouth where you'd have just like a brown colored mess of fucking sugar in your mouth. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? You, I remember when you would eat like Good and Plenty's. Not good in place. <laughs> I'm not eating that. Mike, You're lying now. Mike and Ike's. When you would eat Mike and Ike's, you would just take a handful and put it in your mouth. It was That was like when you mixed all the paint together and it just came out like a shitty brown. It could yeah. gross. That's what you used to do. You so got to eat them one at a time. You don't even like... Eat them one at a time? Yes, yes, yes. Keep your You're palate. a sociopath eating Mike and Ike's at one at a time. You eat popcorn one at a First time? First I'm a sociopath because he said I lied when I was 13 about Ocean's <laughs> Avenue by Yellow Card. <laughs> Now he says I'm a sociopath because I eat my candy one at a time. Do you eat popcorn one at a time? I, yeah. s- I start one at a time, but then I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I 100% eat one at a time. The entire time. I have a reason why, though. It's because Let's hear this. Po- popcorn oh. is easily the most dropped food of yeah. like all time. You can't eat popcorn neat. So if you grab like seven or eight of them, three of them are ending up on the floor. I want that corn. I need that corn. Let me get a consensus on candy corn, by the way. It's October. Disgusting. Yo, you're out of your fucking mind. Candy corn's amazing. It's no. a gift to humanity. I only bite the bottom. The it's a gift to humanity. Hey, spoiler alert. The whole thing tastes the same. Yeah, there's no like different candy. I like, only bite the bottoms though. It, that's stupid. That's really dumb. No, because I bite them and then I just toss the other piece. It's dumb. I'm not trying to justify oh, it. Oh, yeah. Now. All right. 
I, I'm going. <laughs> I just enjoy picking them up, biting the orange and yellow. And dude, awesome. I love candy something corn. about yo. By the way, this is going to set the internet on fire because everyone them, hates. They, they taste candy like corn. shit. Yo, I, yo, whoever hates candy, candy corn, corn. No, no, candy corn is the most polarizing candy there is. Why? It's so good. And, and it and Here's it's so thing. like it's it's such a time of the year thing. You know uh, what I mean? Like it tastes like shit. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. I've heard him to say. <laughs> candy corn I eat so much of it and I don't even enjoy when, what I'm doing yeah like I'm like yeah. I don't I don't know why I can't stop doing it I don't this. enjoy that candy but I will eat it yeah I will eat it that's fair yeah I, I'm right there with can you can I ask you guys another thing yeah do you remember like how your grandmas would always have like that big cylinder with like cherubs on it and it had all different <laughs> kind of popcorn in it cherubs <laughs> yes different popcorn, kinds of popcorn yeah, the popcorn like, like flavored popcorn tins oh, yeah. oh, had, like, yeah. like, was cheddar them? caramel and regular which one did you like the most? I mean, I'm a big cheese guy. I love cheddar. Cheddar. The caramel popcorn, though, was fucking good. The, the only thing about caramel popcorn is, like, sometimes it changes the texture of popcorn, and I don't like that. And then, it, yeah, it just becomes yeah. like a... Like, like a, a wet thing. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm yeah, like, yeah. I just... I need popcorn in my life. That's true. And also, I... I cheddar I, popcorn. I don't know about you guys, but I hate Can't the feeling wrong. of being sticky. So, like, eating... You ever have white cheddar popcorn? Yeah. But like that, like you, you just, just jerked off like an animal. Yeah, and like part of its like, like soul came with you too. It's yeah. disgusting. It's like why won't this go away? You're done with like like with white cheddar. What are you, you doing? Like cheddar you, you lick your fingers? I do. oh I'm a I lick my finger fingers. Wait, licker, you guys? Dog. Oh, I don't do that. I'll, I'll lick it. I'm up. a super finger licker. That's how I clean myself. Yeah. Well, my, like when I'm eating like popcorn. Are you you're you're a pants guy? <laughs> He's definitely a pants guy. Don't, don't a pants two arm pants guy. No, I'm not a two arm pants guy. That's gross. I am. I you, will you're tell you. You're a this. pita dipping pita in the catcher. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you. So, That's not a crazy thing. Yes, it is. I've never seen somebody dip pita in ketchup. Neither have I. A piece of pita bread. It's it, bread. No, if but you, not all bread if you is the dip, same. Yeah. If, even if you dipped any bread into ketchup, it's weird. Wait, look, it is Hot weird. Dogs, but he's been. Hamburgers. To him, yeah, but there's a piece but, of meat in there. Yeah, there's something with it. Like you have, I will to his defense. He has been dipping bread in ketchup since as long as I could remember. What? Literally as long as I can remember. He used to whoa, do it. Whoa, it's, whoa, it's whoa, 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 whoa! It's not just yo. The first of all, you, this is a this is not a big deal. Everyone, relax. You guys, how long have you guys known each other? Since we twenty were like, years. Yeah, no, twenty two years. Twenty two years. I have another question actually going on that. Twenty two years. He's been dipping bread into ketchup. bread into ke- yeah. like white bread. Like, whatever came with school lunch. I, I've never seen him at home be like, oh. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, I won't dip a pizza into ketchup. No, but no, no, you no, remember, no, but you remember the buns that bread. used to come with, like, the burgers for, like, elementary school lunch? Like, they weren't white bread, but they were, like, they were bread. I honestly don't really remember. Well, he wouldn't take out a loaf of bread and just start snacking on bread yeah. and ketchup. Oh. But if I'm eating a hamburger and, and there's I, and extra I finish, bread. And there's extra bread, I'm going to dip it in ketchup. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Like, oh, I'm getting crucified over here. No, but that before was not what you were doing. You, oh. you, you knowingly, didn't even touch yeah. the pita bread. You what? went straight pita bread what? to ketchup. I, I, you knowingly ripped a piece off, and Frankie watched you the whole time. I saw him. <laughs> he knowingly just took a piece and just went like this and just swiped it in there and put it in his mouth. And I had to say something. Yo, I just looked. I, Yo, you I, guys are going crazy. He has criticized my culinary uh, uh, appreciation Col- Nothing before. about you is culinary. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Listen, I have a different taste. My culinary appreciation? Who is this guy? Look, I... Elaborate, elaborate. Look, I'm, I, grew, we grew up in Astoria. Best Greek food in the States, arguably. From all the other places we've been. <laughs> where, you, where is this stat listen, coming from? <laughs> listen, arguably the best Greek food in the States. When we think of, when I think of pita bread, I don't think of ketchup. I think of tzatziki. I think, I think of tzatziki. 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 Yeah. So when you're going... Dirk Nowinski. You got a gyro platter, and you didn't even touch the pita bread to the chicken. You ate the chicken by itself. I watched this whole ordeal. And you picked up your pita bread, tore it, and went straight into grainy ketchup. Grainy? It was grainy. It was a little. It was like organic ketchup. There was a little grain in there. Yeah, it's organic ketchup. All right. But you went straight into it. All right. I don't mind organic ketchup. No, it's good. I think organic ketchup is better than actual ketchup. Fine. You get Fine. A little, get Look, a little weird. I'm a dip you guy. Don't, you know? No. There's, there's no sugar in organic ketchup. Good. Good. So it, yeah, it's good. That's why I do it. And it's not that big of a drop off. But if I had to pick one, which one tastes better? Oh, yeah. Regular give ketchup. Me the, give me that sugar. I don't know. Like oh, no. it's just and look I'm 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 all about dipping and 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 scooping and spreading, but like that I was it was just so 
like out of left field. I was I was interested. I was intrigued. I'm sorry that you were taken back. I'm happy that you putting... caught it at the same time as I caught it too. <laughs> Wait, I'm glad no, you said something because now you don't get to be on his team. No, I'm... because you just said you understand that if you're eating a burger and there's a couple pieces of bread left, you'll dab 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 dab. Which is fine, but you took but that you whole piece of do- bread and ripped it into little pieces and dipped it in ketchup. Yeah, there was no middleman. <laughs> ripped it into little. It pieces. wasn't a hot. It wasn't extra bread. <laughs> it's not like you finish something off and you're like, oh, I want to eat all this food, but I don't want to eat dry bread. I get to my that. to my defense, uh, I usually will rip off a piece of pita bread and put. Hello. Uh, put like two. Uh, <laughs> it's an episode of the basement yard. Yeah. There is a voice crack. <laughs> it is official. And put like two pieces of chicken in it, and then dunk that whole thing in bread. Yeah. In bread. <laughs> dunk it, dunk it all in bread. Yeah. That's. I'm a big time dunker. My food needs yo, to be I love, soaked. Yo, mine too. All about it. You people, see what I was housing that tzatziki? I yeah. love that. Yo, stuff. people who just How do you eat say fries. It right? Tzatziki. Tzatziki. Tzatziki is So it's not. Tzatziki. There's no T is silent. Tzatziki. Yeah. Well, it's tzatziki. not really silent. It's not a T. It's a tz. It's a tz. Satsiki. Sats. Satsiki. 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 Yeah. Nice. Suds. Yeah. Tatsiki. Tatsiki? That's what that's what people say. <laughs> Tzatziki. Yo, Can you, I got get tzatziki? That? you got Tzatziki? You got <laughs> You got Tzatziki diamonds? Kawasaki? <laughs> <laughs> the worst is when people call it white sauce. Oh my god. That hurts. Me. It actually was on that menu as yogurt sauce. Oh, well, that's, no, that's it's that what makes it sense. Is. It's what it made out of. I don't like it. What the fuck is that white sauce at those fucking halal, halal fucking, people? Yeah. Oh, I'm not a halal guy, so. Oh, I don't know, but it's. I think it's. That uh, white sauce is flames. I think it is tzatziki. It probably is tzatziki. And da, like the hot sauce they da, have there. Tzatziki. It's like, do you want. Like, that shit makes you want to die. Their hot sauce. Oh my God, it's so hot. I've never really had it. Is it really like that? Like, rough? Well, it's just a cherry on top of. Oh, you're going to have diarrhea? Let's add fire to your yeah. diarrhea because now it comes out and it burns your rim. It's so. Yeah, it's so hot. They literally only put like. A s- smallest of squirts on it. Yeah. Remember, remember when we went to that um, the Cuban spot and I, we, they had that green hot sauce. Yes. Hotter than that. Ooh, way hotter. Oh. Green hot sauce is great. Green yeah, hot amazing. sauce is it's, amazing. It's prob- it's the best hot sauce I've, in my opinion. Oh, oh, you mean like green I'd rather Tabasco. have I'd rather have green than red. red. Yeah, I'm with you. Like Except green for, t- green Tabasco. You mean whatever? Just any green hot sauce. Any green. Hot I'm right sauce. there. Except for Frank's Red Hot. Frank's Red Hot. I can. I literally can drink that stuff. I, I've done that before. Drank re- Frank's Red Hot. Yeah, me and Keith one time. I took. I've taken a shot out of it. Like a, as a, it was disgusting. Me and Keith did it one time where we filled up shot glasses. <laughs> He's getting your spit. There. Yo, yeah, on, yeah. honestly, like, oh, honestly, it's it's really really bad. It's hard. Really? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's like it's so. Do you have like any Frank's salty. Red Hot? Yeah, I'll do it. Right I have now. sriracha, but it also. I'll has, do. I'll do a shot of sriracha right now. It might go down easier, but y- yo, you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> The most concerned you've ever been because for me. you'll you put burn it right at my stomach. <laughs> yo, yo you, he didn't say like me, the person. He put it at my stomach. You shouldn't. He can, not you. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. I think it's that xanthan gum. Xanthan gum. It's bad for you. It is. It's that stuff that like makes hot sauce kind of have like that layer on. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird. Why did you do that? I don't know. <laughs> X. I put the X. I think it's that xanthan. Gum. It's a uh, silent X. It is not great for you. No, but that's what it makes it feel like it's continuous. It's like a becomes like a booger almost. Oh Ugh. god! Yeah, it thic- it thickens it up. It, it thickens it, it up. So that's why when you take the shot, it tastes like a booger. I honestly have never even heard of this gum. It's just like an ingredient it's that a, they put in there. That it's a makes, powder, actually. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's. But it makes it thicker. It's it's like that's why when you have certain like Texas Pete hot sauce, mm-hmm. it has like that little bit of like mucus membrane yeah, type yeah, of. Yeah. Skittles have that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know, I almost died from Skittles. What? Yeah, what? like I was really drunk, and then I had Skittles, like right before I went to bed. And you know how it makes your saliva so thick? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So I was sleeping, and I guess I was sleeping with my mouth open, and I guess there was just like a film of Skittle saliva oh. over my mouth. Yeah, Not like, over my mouth, but like in my throat, <laughs> that I couldn't breathe. That's oh like God. Skittles <laughs> sleep back. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> exactly what happened. I almost it, Skittles almost killed me, oh and I woke up going like, <gasps> really? like that, yeah. And That's I didn't terrifying. And I was in a bunk bed with another dude, and he threw his phone because he thought I was throwing up. Wait, what? It was we were at it was like this YouTuber event, and they put us in this oh, one room. Okay, and there was like okay. a bunch of people, so it was like me, you know, some, the mag cons and stuff like that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was me, this kid Jonah, and then two people were below us, and then Joey Gatto was. 
in the bathroom throwing up the whole night. But <laughs> Sounds like Joey. I, I came out of my sleep like, <gasps> and I didn't realize it because I had just like woken up a drunk. And then everyone's just like, I remember looking around and everyone's looking at me like, and I'm like, what? And like, dude, you just, what was that? And I was what? like, what are you talking about? No, that's terrifying. And they're like, yo, you just like screamed or something. And I was like, what? I'm like, yeah, dude, you almost like died. Like you were like, gasping for air. I was like, I was mad drunk. I was like, that's tight. That's tight. <laughs> you know what's weird? weird? Is that you laid in a bed with another man and ate Skittles next to him? No, I had Skittles before I got in the bed. But uh, yeah, I was definitely uh, in that bed with another dude. Uh, no, no, a no, bunk that, bed. That's whatever. Top, that's, that's whatever. Hey, but like eating bunk. Skittles next to like a person sleeping is kind of... When I, here's a fun story. I thought that you were eating them and fell asleep eating them. Next, oh, no, no, no. Next to some you think stranger right, in one bed. <laughs> I got there's a fun no, story. There was a kid that I knew and I had, had oh, right, just right. ate Skittles and then we went to bed and that's why. I thought you guys were Joey knows, really in the same. Bed. Joey knows that I like to like snack on weird things sometimes. So there was a phase where and I I mean I still would. I just haven't done it in a while where I I just straight up ate cucumbers just like straight up. I've and done like, that before. With a dump cup. them with a cup of Italian dressing. Yeah, no, I've never done that. He's and filled up a cup of Italian dressing and dunked it and yo, ate a it's cucumber. so good and um. I was at my lake house Probably once. Not the best, for and you. I was I was going to like I at that point in time was sharing like a room and a bed with my cousin. Oh, I thought you said Sharon. Sharon, no, not Sharon. Sharon wasn't there that week. Sharon Stone was not there. No. <laughs> different, and different weekend. He was like he went to sleep and it was pitch black and he just he was like, <laughs> and he's like yo what the fuck is that and I didn't I didn't say anything because I didn't, I felt bad I thought I was waking him up and like here like three more times and he turns on the fucking light and I'm just sitting in the middle of the bed with a cucumber. <laughs> Yo, at, least it was, at least you were eating it. Yo, I l- <laughs> could have woke up to something a lot I mean, I could have, I could have eaten it elsewhere. Could have been elsewhere. jamming that in your A. Yeah. There it is. Jamming J- it in the A. a. Remember when you were younger and you... <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that one off real quick. Nope. Whatever you say right now is going to be a big thing. No, you're going gonna to relate to this. <laughs> Do you remember? Nope. <laughs> oh shit, that was funny. Uh, um, but <laughs> remember LimeWire, obviously. Obviously, yes, yeah. the best. Ever. You, <laughs> the best. You would download like porn on it. Yeah, and go to, and go to school all day. And just be like, I cannot wait. Barry Sanders, ESPN Classic. I remember that. But there was also one time I downloaded something. It was just like big titty, whatever. I was like, I'm in. Oh, yeah. So I downloaded that. <laughs> and when I opened it, it was a girl with a cucumber. Just, I'll actually, it might have been an eggplant. Cause this was a massive fucker. This was a thick, thick bitch. Not her. The, oh, the, the eggplant. The, the, the vegetation. <laughs> the, 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 the vegetation was very thick. The, the thick okay. Ass, thick this ass thing plant. was in a factory, and they were injecting steroids into oh. it. In the sniz or in the bee? In the sniz. In the sniz. In the snatch. Wow. In that's, the cage. That's in, in the gauge. That's cage. Oh, in the cage. The gauge that I like. <laughs> I like the gauge. That's that's. In- did you ever see that video a long time ago? I know what you're gonna do. You know exactly <laughs> what I'm doing. I just did this, and the guy like opened the girl up and literally like opened her up, and he's a bald guy and he shoves his head inside. Yeah. Him. No way. Yeah. I don't know if it's real, but he got his this. head in there. Yeah. Why don't you look at your watch? The time. <laughs> What's up with this new watch? It vibrated. You never wear a watch. I know. Vib- what is that? Vibrate out. Past tense. What? It's past tense. Vibrate out. He oh. Is. oh god damn it you're right <laughs> god damn it you're god, so right god damn it you're right what's up I, i've never i don't think i've ever seen Not you wear a watch right. <laughs> no I, I this is a running watch oh you're running now <laughs> what i'm just saying this is news to me yeah i just you know all right good for you it's nice how do you i like need it? i need to do it because Yo, i hate running no I it's, can't that's, run. that's why i started doing it because i'm like i i hate doing it and i feel like if I do something that I can't even imagine myself, like I want to be able to run ten miles in one shot. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, that's honestly, I, hope I, I, you can. I like I, I. I'm laughing like admirably, but I'm laughing at myself. Like <laughs> the thought of running ten miles, I know I will never do that. Yo, I hate I hate cardio right. so I, damn much. I can't even like see myself doing it. What's I, the most you think you could run right now? If if we literally went outside and you just took off and we followed you in a car until uh, you're just like I've had enough. Three miles. <laughs> three that's miles. A lot. Yo. Three be, miles is fucking far, dude. Yo, to be honest, though, like, I would if be. I'm I would, running I would have to be some, on the verge of death, though. Like, if it wouldn't be great. If I'm running with someone else, like, I think like that would motivate me more to keep up. Like, I think I, well, so. that's why I got the watch. I think because so too. The watch, um, because the first day I went to go run, the reason why I'm, I'm running now is because 
I feel like it just adds this certain level of like discipline of like, yo, just go out and run. Yeah. Because I hate doing it. So yeah. it's like, just go do it's something. One of, hate it's doing. one of the most disciplining things that you could do. Yeah. Dude, it's a fight. <laughs> yeah. It sucks. I can't fucking breathe. But the reason why I got the watch is because usually when I run, one of my biggest problems is I get fucking bored running. Yes. So I got the watch because this watch tells you your pace for a mile. So it tells you your distance, how long you've been running, and your current pace. So it's like, now you know if you're going too fast or if you're going too slow because another problem that I had was I would run too fast and yeah, like I wouldn't be, be able to run a mile because yeah. I'm trying to run out. it. Yeah. I'm running it like a 620 and I'm like, dude, slow the fuck down, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in order to like, you got to take it step by step. You think you could ever like run like a half marathon? Is that like the next I, goal? Like, are, I don't, do don't want to say that. Like, don't I don't want anyone to hold yeah. me to that because I don't know how long this is going to last. <laughs> but I, did your brother do a half marathon? He did a full marathon. He did the New York City marathon. That's insane. Yeah, that's absurd. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. I think... I would die. Yeah, I think so too. Well, I mean, you could walk. I could walk. You could finish the I'm New a good York wa- Marathon. I'm a good walker. Did you see these sure. guys that did the like that 34 mile walk for Drew Brees or some shit like that? No, it was like a. Uh, they ran. Uh, they did 70 something. Oh, he just broke the record for yeah. yards. Record. Yeah, but it, it was like 72,000 or some shit like it that. It came out to like 34 miles or some. I it was don't like re- 41 miles, and they like walked that. it. Yeah, to like the stadium. I'll That's be, insane. Can I, those guys, big time losers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they couldn't stand up to cheer for him at the game when he. Broke and the, the record. only thing that makes the guy the original idea less of a loser is that the guy next to him thought that it was a good idea. He's like, "Yeah, dude, yo, that I'm would in. be awesome." I mean, hey, you're a bigger loser than he. If is. one of you guys suggested, like, "Dude, let's walk 41 miles for Drew Brees," I'd go, "Dude, no, dude." If you said, "Hey, let's just walk four miles right now," hold I'd on. be like, "Dude, hold no. on," because the joke's on us. They got. To go on the field, they got to meet Drew Brees. They got like VIP, like they if, got if they knee were, problems. Yo, honest, hundred percent. If they were like, "Yo, you have to walk two thousand something, <clears throat> you know, yards oh. for Derek Jeter for the hits, all the hits that he got in his career," would you do it? Two thousand yards is not far at all. Yeah, it's like two hundred football fields. Okay. Yo, is walking. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. You know you're trying to is, know, is right? walking 40 miles like impossible? Hard? Why is that hard? I don't know. I walking 40 miles. They had to like stop. You know how far 40 miles <laughs> yeah, is, dude. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> how, walking for two days. How how far? <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> no, that's not true. If you walk at an average of 30 miles an hour, <laughs> I mean, you three. can't run. <laughs> you like are. Can run three. Three. You are flash. <laughs> If you can walk 30 I'm, miles an hour, I this is a breeze. You need to call Nick Fury. I meant three. I meant three. If you, you are walk an at like Avenger, an average sir. pace of like three miles an hour, that's like 10 hours. That's not that bad. How far could you Dude, walk straight, Danny? T- me? The longest walk I've ever gone on was three and a half hours. No, yeah. I'm talking distance here. Oh, well, that's... When, when I did that, I mean, I stopped a couple times. What was the, it? Three and Three and change? Miles? Yeah. No, it was like five, six miles. Yeah. Yo, you can walk a mile in like eight minutes. Yeah. The, the farthest I've ever walked was like six miles. Remember? <laughs> no, when you was, can't. Remember when I was No walking? one's walking a mile in eight minutes. Yo, you are completely off with your speed. I am. No, no. People run. I, dude, I ran a mile the other I'm day in eight bad. minutes. I, walk, I walk miles in like... 12 minutes. Yeah, like 13... <laughs> no, no, like 13, 14 minutes. Okay. It takes me to like walk a mile. I'm, yo, I'm a quick walker too, so I can say like I, 12 minutes. It doesn't minutes. matter. No. Yeah, Yo, it, t- it, t- it takes me 14, 14 minutes on average to walk a mile. And I, I think I'm that a faster walker But than that's him. like when I'm like, I'm going for a walk. If I was just like gradually walking, it would probably take me like 20 minutes to walk a mile. Because hmm. like you're stopping, you're <laughs> stopping and looking around. If you could walk 30 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> no, be because honestly, right. that's, that's what, that's what helped uh, with like my initial weight loss was like I was going on these long, long Yo, walks. Yo, walks are dope. They're, so dope. Yeah. I love walking places. I just can't run yet. Oh, I, 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 I can and I hate it. So. I can't. Yeah, you can. Nah, dude. Not with my back. That's the thing that's been bothering me a lot. Yo, ride the bike. I wasn't able to. I, could, I, I was that's thinking about what getting I was one. Doing for I was a thinking about time. getting one of those ones that fold out. What? Oh, Did, you mean like a real bike? No, I was no, saying no, like no, I was no, going no, to the no. gym and doing like the no, stationary. No, no, no. They have the stationary bikes, but they fold out. And you could put them in your closet and pull them out and they snap. What? What the fuck? Yeah, it's like so like they you know cuz like treadmills and bikes and they take up a lot of space. They have ones now that are classic. Do you have a bike? I used to have a bike. I don't have one now. Oh, cuz if you did, they do make like these things that you could put in your apartment that it's literally just like a triangle and you put your bike oh, on really? it and you could just bike, yeah. 
I might, I might look into that. Did because only the, the back tire moves. So you put the front tire like on the floor yeah. and then the back tire goes into this thing and it has like a wheel. Yeah. So you pedal and just go. Didn't you have a bike? I have a bike. Oh, it's still here? Yeah. Oh, My tire's flat, but. I could never ride a bike in New York City. I think those people are the craziest people on earth. I think you have to be certifiably insane. Yeah, because they get out, out there whipping through traffic and <laughs> shit. You're a fucking maniac. Yeah, this guy's Dave Mira coming off of Second Avenue. I'm like, whoa, yeah. I'm driving here, you fuck. But I'll take a biker over a fucking skateboarder through the city any day. <laughs> How many skateboarders Yo, are there in the city? I, I will, I've yeah, seen yeah, a it, lot. Especially with the electric ones now. Oh, yeah, the boosted You'll board. see a guy that looks like he's never skateboarded a day in his life. They're all longboarding like... Yeah, and fucking Michael Kors <laughs> fucking <laughs> shirt. Johnny Tsunami, get the yeah. fuck out of here. <laughs> he's got like dockers on, just fucking zipping through fucking uptown. Dude, have you ever biked... Th- through like there is un not unwritten but there are rules about biking yeah. in the city you, you get like tickets yo, people go insane all right hey get in the bike lane buddy yeah you're well, on the wrong side well, i've had people i've had people yell at me for like trying to cross the street and walking through the bike lane i saw because i i had gotten a like a ticket not long ago and a, a part of the ticket says like for bikers and it has like different like biking violations and you can get yo if i was riding my bike and got pulled over by a cop i'm fucking killing myself <laughs> <laughs> i'm riding off the bridge into the fucking water i'm killing myself no. <laughs> funny that you say that a, bu- a buddy of mine got a dui on a bike that's awful i didn't uh, even know you could do that well, I didn't on, either. on fire island they don't have cars they just have you just bike around and you take like water taxis and shit and a buddy of mine got drunk and got pulled over by bike cops and got a DUI for riding his bike drunk. I, mean, I would kill myself. Yeah, that's rough. And that go that goes on your record as an actual yeah. DUI. It's yeah. not like DUI on a bike. It's like no, this is a DUI. Also, I don't like. I, I don't know if this is damaging to say. I feel like it's easier to drive a car drunk than it is to drive a bike drunk. I would agree with you because it involves less physical coordination. <laughs> you know, driving a bike drunk would be impossible. Physical for that. coordination. I balance? Yeah, you can yeah. barely walk. You're expecting the person to balance on a bike and pedal. Isn't it also weird how you never forget how to ride a bike, but you have to learn how to do it? Does that make any sense? Yeah, no, that's not weird. No, I don't think it's weird at all. It's muscle memory. Yeah. It's, I, it's I really know, but just it's like... Keep going forward. I know, but like, do you remember learning how to ride a bike? Not really. I remember so, Keith I learning. It was terrible. I remember Keith learning. Keith was fearless. Keith was a, was a psycho on a bike. Yeah. I told that story. Yeah. Keith, remember Keith used to stand on his pegs, Fly not touching the, the not touching the right down the hills, right down the hill. Yeah. When he was learning how to ride a bike, they had training wheels on, and he'd be like, "Just take them off." Yeah. Because like he didn't care, and he'd be at the top. We had an alleyway where we we lived on a hill. And he would come flying down, and Damn. he didn't. Instead of like, because you know you like pedal backwards to break. Fuck instead yeah. of doing that, he would just crash into garbage cans in front of our house. <laughs> I remember he vividly. Was always reckless like that. Yeah. Makes sense though. He was nuts. It was hilarious though. No, I, 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 I do not remember riding a bike. But and I, yo, honestly, I don't think I've ridden a bike in like eight years. Like, riding a bike is awesome. I kind of want to do it, but like, like so beach, bad. like a beach cruiser. No, I don't want to ride like a GT Dino because everyone no, no, expects not you those. to fucking like no do a fucking tail spin riding with a, it. like a cyclist bike, like a like a bike. No, no, those involve like way fit. too much work. Anything with gears on they're it, I don't way, yeah, do. they're they're kind of confusing. Where it's like, oh, we're going up this hill, go to eight, yeah, and now we're going down, shift to three, yeah. like just let me ride. Yeah. I, uh, I don't want to, fuck, yeah, I don't want to drive like a like a priceless fucking like. Yeah, manual I, manual shift car here. You don't have to. And like these bikes that are like lighter than like a feather and yeah, shit. Yeah, I don't like, want. Yeah, I don't want to be that guy that runs with his bike. Yeah. Oh my god. I, I hate those I have, guys. I have one of those bikes. You, I, an I, Iron I don't Man, run like an it. Iron Man bike. No, but it's not like that. It's is just it a, one with the? It's hooks? a car. Is it a carbon fiber? No, it's, it's not, not the one with the hooks. Where it, you're, it you might look be. like a greyhound. No, no, no. I don't have hooks. <laughs> it's a regular bike. It has like regular handlebars, but it has skinny tires. Yeah. Like it's for going quicker than like you can't like i could beat someone it's a who's cycle, on like it's a, a fucking, cyclist bike it's not a like a kid's not a kid's bike but yeah. it's not a regular fucking bike. I, like, I like the beach we cruises. definitely don't know <laughs> what the a bike terms. Is. <laughs> it's a cyclist bike it's a cyclist bike <laughs> but i like the beach cruisers because you could you could ride that shit the with pretty no ones hands. With like a basket yeah put people on the fucking handlebars no those things are cruise. massive yeah, they're you ever, yo they're huge like i got on it and literally i'm like like i almost fucking yeah. fall and i'm i'm <laughs> Fairly tall. I grew up on those, though. That's that's all we had. That's you all grew we grew up on beach bikes. Yeah, I grew up. That's what we grew up on. 
I lived by the ocean. <laughs> I did. Oh, the way you said it sounds. I, funny. I grew up on a bike. Grew, yo, <laughs> no, no, no. Like grew uh, up on a beach hey, bike. You knew what I meant, Dave Mira. Relax. <laughs> no, okay? no, 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 no. I no. grew up on pegs. <laughs> no, it's okay. like. Uh, by the way, it's like how you grew up on on a TV show. Like, oh yeah, yeah, I grew up on. <laughs> that. I know it was just funny. Like, but you know what's crazy? No pegs. No one, no, you don't see pegs anymore. Yeah, pegs are a, th- a relic of Do the kids, past. Kids don't share. That's where that's where men were made. Yeah. What? <laughs> if you could ride a bike while someone was on the back, and yo, I remember that shit. Like, if the person was sitting down, like on the pegs, you were like cool, like, and you were best friends. But like when that person stood up, <laughs> it's yeah. like you're back there, like fuck, like you're you're whoever, just as integral like, to the balance of that motor vehicle. Whoever, not motor vehicle, whoever came up with that idea is a genius. I just never understood how they worked. So I always thought that the back tire would just go flat. Well, that's what the tire's for. I know what the tire's the for. The PSI. Get it up. You can't have like some gigantic fat third grader on the back of there. Yeah. Yo, when you roll like when you rolled deep with your friend on the fucking pegs on the bike, that was so dope. Front pegs? Do you ever have those? I I I'm not I, I was that a kind of guy. Pe- I was a back pegger. Yeah. <laughs> Peg me in the back. back. <laughs> <laughs> like my brother had front and back pegs on a GT Dino. When I was like, uh, you remember those, right? No. What was he grinding? I remember bikes. No, they, that, those were like big bikes back then. GT what was he Dinos grinding and, on like and, rails? And, and mongooses. Remember Yo, mongooses? I had, mongoose. I had an Echo bike. Like an Echo, the clothing line? Like, like, like Mark Echo? Yeah. I had an Echo blue bike. That bike was $8. No, that thing's probably worth mad money now. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it got stolen, so. <laughs> Hell yeah, it got stolen. Someone Everyone's bike got stolen. Yo, stealing bikes was just like literally a job for some Yeah, kids. Yeah, but it, it's like, st- but you don't steal them for keeps. You steal them, you spray paint them, and you toss them. No, not really. Yeah, oh no, scrap metal places. A lot of people will take that, but then also like no, but your kids, you weren't thinking. No, you like if I saw money. somebody's bike, sometimes I would just get on it and like ride it to wherever my destination was and just leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it oh, might. In our, in our, <laughs> like, I like I would half steal it. I don't think I ever stole a bike. That's like in Grand Theft Auto. When yeah, you yeah, buy yeah, a bike. yeah. I would half steal it. I, I don't steal. I don't think I ever stole a bike. I didn't steal a bike. I'd be like, either. "Yo, can I use your bike?" I'm going to the store. I'd go to the store, get a fucking whatever, and then go back. No. Every time I used one of my friends' bike, it was because I had to go home and take a shit. Yeah, yeah you always had to poop. I always had to poop like poop. when it was like game point, poop. like twenty to nineteen. I'm like, I really can't stay for another point. I got a shit. Yeah. Someone give me their bike. Yeah, you were you were pretty Nerves. aggressive with it. But or I used to rollerblade a lot. Yo, rollerblading that's also a thing of the past i saw a guy with rollerblades i'm like look at this fuck look at that. that's nice look at this guy he's I having a time you know what i haven't seen in years mopeds right i haven't and i haven't heard them either like you know when you heard them you, you knew who was coming yeah you were like yo that's fucking that's nicky from down the block with his moped like <laughs> you knew who it was Dude, razor also, scooters you don't see much anymore no. and the other thing you don't see anymore are those hoverboards they're yeah. coming back i saw them recently at target really yeah, how much but like 150 bucks. Oh, I'm so good on that. Yeah. I, not, are you? I'm not paying these. No, though. I'm not paying that. Like, I'm, I'm good. Oh, I thought you meant like I'm good on the... I would the pay... Thing. No, keep it. I'm I, good. Well, they're How illegal. Much, I would pay 60... What? You can only... In the state of New York, you can only ride it in your home. You no, can't, no, no. Wait a second. In your home. Because like, everyone in New York lives in a fucking place this big. Yeah. The one, the, I'm telling you, the ones that are like you stand on, it's like... Meh. Like those? Yeah. They're, you're not allowed to ride them in yeah, the but city. Yeah, but then what's that one... What's that one... If that's one wheel. What? Oh, I, oh yeah, the Unis. How the Una. fuck do you balance on that? You know wheel? Know. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I literally saw a dude just zipping up fucking York <laughs> Avenue just like this. And they're they're <laughs> got yeah, they got some like, speed. Yo, look at this. this guy's going thirty miles an hour. <laughs> they do. They got some speed on yo, those things. Like, those things are fucking insane. He's in like a Brooks Brothers shirt, just fucking <laughs> killing it. I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Dude, I still think it's so funny to see grown men. In suits, like on scooters, on scooters bikes. Yeah. It's great. It's Especially so city bikes, too. A satchel, and it's like you're very it's professional. It's the ultimate like, contradiction. But you're biking. No, the best is like the, the people that wear, like, that dress like that and work in the city, but then skateboard. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You're like, what? Well, um, that doesn't make any sense. I've seen guys on unicycles. I'm like, what are you? What is this? A circus? I don't think I've Put seen this. a unicycle in real life. I've seen unicycles. We need to see how much that thing looks, uh, how much those are. Why you want to get one and try it? I would love to try. How's it. your balance? Right now. My balance is pretty good. I feel like it's all right. Keith has great balance. My balance not that great. Not great. I would need some practice. We'll I feel do, like we'll do it on okay. grass or on the turf. Huh. Let me see. What are those called? I don't know. Uniscooter. How much is it? Uh, 
There's one here, and they're called One Wheels. This one is for eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Hold like, on, this is like on Amazon. Hunt. You can get a car for that. <laughs> I'm saying this is on Amazon. That's like a car payment. Oh, okay, like four this is times. on Amazon. A, a one one wheel self balancing personal transporter with mobile app control. I don't know what that is. Six hundred self balancing and mobile app control. I don't know what that. Yeah, I don't know what that means. But this How is six hundred. This is six hundred. Can you play the video of it real quick, just so we could see it? I just, I mean, so I could see it. Whoa, it looks cool. Wait, can I see? Yeah. We're, this looks like a porno for like a yeah. one wheel contraption. I've definitely heard Dude, people fuck to this music. That thing, one hundred percent, is cool as shit. Yo, there are people that that you know what that's made for. That is cool. As that's fuck. made for fucking California. That's not made for New York. Or the or the bike lane, bike lane in New York. You could zip on. Yo, that. those like the two pedal self balancing ones. Those are you're not allowed to use those in New York anymore. I mean the two wheel ones. You know the ones that, that the, yeah yeah the yeah like the wrapper ones. Yeah, those you're not allowed to use in New York anymore. They're I'm pretty sure they're illegal. Like that makes sense. You can use them in your house. Why would they? Why does that make sense? Why would those be illegal? Because they because like well they also were like catching on yeah. fire. You remember that? <laughs> yeah, but like yo, you know <laughs> everyone were, wanted was, one of those. There was like Samsung phones that were exploding on planes, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. The, uh, they had to cancel a whole line of like, as the if S7. I needed that. Yeah. If I was on a plane and someone's pocket exploded right. next to me, yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'm like, no one's believing you either. I, oh, it was an accident. It was yeah. my phone. Yeah, like we know. It's a bomb. <laughs> Just start beating up the guy next to you. Yeah, no, it's uh, terrifying. That shit is terrifying. Absolutely. I would beat the shit out of someone on a plane if I saw the inkling of smoke come out of any part of your body. Yeah, it's a wrap for you. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> like, and I'm telling everyone, this guy's there's smoke coming out of this, this guy. Guy's smoking. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I don't know. I'm too afraid. Yo, I don't know how this happened, but on my YouTube app, in my like recommended page, there was a lot of like plane has engine failure, but landed safely. Was it on your one or the or the basement yard one? I I think it was mine. Because guess it, it was watching it on the basement yard. <laughs> it could have been me. Was it? Yeah, before I went to Italy, probably, I was watching all like <laughs> No, it was crashes. recently. Oh, all right, then it's not me. Yeah, because it was just random videos of like the cockpit. And this dude just like driving like a propeller plane, and all of a sudden you see the propeller in the front just stop moving, and then they just start Yo. looking at each other and start checking knobs because there's a thousand fucking. What are all those things in a cockpit? You gotta decompress. Yo, I don't know, but I, I anytime I get on a plane, I like have to accept that I'm like ready to die. Yes, I, I, I get up there and I'm like, yo, like whatever, like if I die, it's out of my hands, like I'm dead. I'm more afraid. <laughs> you of, make your peace with yeah, I make yeah. my peace. I'm like, if I die, it's whatever. I'm the same. I, as I feel more scared on the ground, like as I'm we're going and taking off, than I am when we're in the air. Well, no. you know what they say. They say uh, it's I, not what they say. I, I, at, but that, at that point, I had no control. Statistically, flight is the safest form of transportation. Right. The worst is when that thing hits you with the little. And I'm like, what was that one? One more time. And you hear all the stuff start shaking around. I don't around. think I ever got hit with a rock Yeah, me neither. No, you I never, never got hit with bad turbulence? Like, like a rock a ca ca rock a ca ca What is that? There, what kind of plane were you on? Well, there was that one time where we were coming back from Vegas. Remember with Dom? We got some turbulence, <laughs> and they were like, oh, under your seat is your fucking <laughs> right, like, they inflatable. Do that whole spiel. You know, like, yeah, yeah. like <laughs> so he just grabs under his seat on, like, the inflatable. And we're like, yo, we're not flying over water. This is, like, the desert. <laughs> it's like, Dom, if we hit the floor, we're all dead. Yeah. You can grab your thing, but we're, it's over, okay? Yeah, I, like, said, I literally had to accept, like, yo, I'm putting myself in this position knowing I could die. And if I die, it's fine. Every time I go, like, on a plane and I get somewhere and I have a really good time, yeah. on the flight back, I'm like... This is gonna go south because I had a really good time. I, know. <laughs> no, I was not, like, I had a really good time. I don't know if anyone's gonna let me. You know, I'm also I'm, on my flight back from Italy. Somebody passed out on my plane. So then I'm I like, can't handle that. Yeah, and he was literally like, he was like like Turkish, so like no one understood what he was saying yeah. on the plane. Yeah. So like the poor guy passed out and woke up, and people were like coming over. Like they literally re- hit us with the if there's a doctor on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Which brings me to my next point. Why isn't there a doctor on every plane? It's a good point. It's a good point. <laughs> you gotta just hope. Cost, God forbid you have something same, going serious. Same reason why there aren't parachutes on every plane. It costs money. And it opens up like legal issues. Parachutes. It also opens up like, like legal like, issues. Like malpractice or yeah, something? Yeah, like malpractice and shit. Like, Wait, parachutes would be pointless. 
No, they would. If the plane's going down, open that son of a bitch. I'm jumping out, opening that parachute up. I don't give a fuck. It, like, I'm, I'm dying either way. I'd rather die trying. I, but that's, if, not, yeah, that's not how... I, I agree. But if I had a shot to jump, I'm jumping. I'm fucking no, jumping. I'm, obviously. I think we're all... Go I'll jump out with you guys. Like, Yo, the triangle, like, like this, this shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be in a circle going around. <laughs> Like the opening I'm to in. Power Rangers. All in on that. Yo, All in. I don't think you could jump out at 30,000 feet. No, no, no. They would have to lower that it and then we make, would jump. But, yeah, no, but you'll I'm, die what I'm because is, of the pressure. Of the and it's area. also f All right, it's like negative like, 200 degrees. Yeah, 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 you'll at that die. point in time, you're just like, all right, like 10... Nine, eight. You hit one, then you're like, all no, right, I'm jumping out and fucking. That would be the scariest thing if the if the guy was like, all right, we're lowering to jump altitude, and like you're it's like, all right, everyone line up. That, yeah, that didn't make. And the stewardess is just fucking tossing people <laughs> out of the fucking plane. Everyone's got goggles. Your goggles will drop from above you, and. God willing, you fucking land on something. <laughs> Seriously, soft. like but at not that only point, that, like, no. Also, if you jump out of the side of a plane, you're getting sucked in that engine, and you're turning into dust. Not necessarily. Serily. Serily. <laughs> it would have to be the back. Yeah, like do like a cargo. Like, the, give, let me jump out the cargo part. Fire. That'd be dope. <laughs> but at that point, if we're going down, you'd have to like jump up, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's fine. The, air, that the wind will take you. Who's that comedian that was like? Uh, it's like I hate the 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 black box, like the air. There's things on the yeah black box. The yeah. black box that's like indestructible. They go, why don't they make the whole plane out of that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I saw that too. <laughs> and it's funny because it's orange. It's not even black. Yeah. So that is true. That has like the, the it's indestructible. Apparently, it's like in like they find them like years late. Like this thing can go down in like a blaze of glory, <laughs> and like they find the black box. Like oh. <laughs> Can we Here just can we just make the whole plane? Honestly, I think it might be like too heavy of a metal. Probably, <laughs> a plane is one of the most amazing things of all Yo, time. <laughs> I don't get it. I really I, don't. To this day, I don't get it. The other day, there's I was, no flapping part. No. There's just like, oh no, it's just all power. <laughs> and guess what? These guys that the guys that created planes, obviously the Wright brothers, crashed a million of them. <laughs> <laughs> like almost, they just tried to die every day. <laughs> no, they didn't even make planes. They made the fucking wingy ones. Yeah, like wingy. Yeah. <laughs> what were we watching just before? Huh? A guy went hang gliding above the clouds. Yeah. Who's who created the hang glide? Yeah. You know, or just put in, give everyone like when they get on the plane, like those fucking like flying squirrel outfits. <laughs> you know what I mean? That would be dope. Yeah, but you also need a parachute for that. You don't yeah. need to. There was a guy that fell into a giant net. <laughs> they just got nets all over the world? No, but like if you can just like level out <laughs> these people on the ground. Like I got up. him. I got him. Back, 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 back. <laughs> left, 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 left. He's coming in hot. He's coming in very no, but, hot. but like I'm always like, and again, this is me just like overthinking this, but like if you have one of those and you like level out right before the ground, you can like like skid your feet on the ground and like slow down, no? Okay, nope, nope. <laughs> I, I, like I could never jump out of a plane Unless my life's over, yeah. No, nah. I also love the videos they play before you get on a flight because they're so like pleasing. But it's all about like if we're gonna die. Yeah, no, there's no like they're like it's funny because they give you these protocols. It's like protocols before death. Like there's <laughs> yeah. no to like. By the way, if we happen to hit the fucking ocean, yeah. <laughs> grab your float. But we'll probably all be dead. And please stay calm while you're thinking of your family and everything <laughs> that you've done wrong in your life. Yo, I would fucking <laughs> lose my shit in the Praying unlikely God. event that we hit a mountain. <laughs> I would lose Buckle my shit. Up. I would be like, yo, whatever, we're going down. I'd start calling people on my phone and she'd be like, yo, this is it. Like, like, yo, turn the Wi Fi on. I got FaceTime. Honestly, people. though, honestly, do you think. Who's like, the first person you call if it's going down? I'm not calling anyone. I don't have the wherewithal to have a conversation. Oh, no. I'd I think I'd call, call someone. I'd call both my parents. I don't know who first. I, I don't want to say which one. Yeah. The first one that comes up in my mouth. Frankie would die call. before he'd be like, I don't know. I should really think about it. <laughs> Boom! Imagine you just get voice Call no one. Yeah. Can you imagine? Like I, I get like sent to fucking voicemail. Like I'm busy. My brothers, my brothers wouldn't answer because they're playing Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Wait. I'm in squads. Someone was gonna say something. You were about. I don't know. You said, oh yo. But then I then I asked, uh, who like would you try to call somebody if you were about to crash plane? Hey, when this happens, I don't remember. I think like. I would just like what if I knew it was going down like I'm regardless if I have a fucking parachute with me or not I'm probably just gonna jump and like hope for the best yeah. see I always know <laughs> and, like do one of those like yo why can't my shirt fucking like help me like obviously I know why like a blanket because it's your fucking <laughs> shirt <laughs> <laughs> but like if they have like a really like if they have a blanket like try to fucking Mary Poppins that shit on the way down 
Also, the Yo, other I'm thing- I know I'm going to die. It's just I want it to be maybe I'll live. Right. So, so it- is there an umbrella on board? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he's going. <laughs> you were going straight down. But, like, remember another thing, too, uh, just to go along with, like, the shirt. Remember tying blankets together? Like, yes. They would always do that in movies to, like, climb out of the window. Yeah. <laughs> Does that work? I don't know. I don't think I've ever done that. Like, how, like girls would do it, like, I'm going to this party. Fuck my dad. Yeah. And they, they throw, they, like, this. They like, tie it to their yeah, radiator. How do you have 14 sheets. Yeah. How many blankets you got, lady? Yeah, and also, a- I don't, yo, I'm ripping the shit out of whatever I try to yeah. use to climb down. My family was way too broke. Our thread count was way too Yo, long. I was like a 30 thread count on every <laughs> sheet I had. Exactly. It was yeah. like, okay, this you is toilet paper. What are you doing? You them, yeah. I I had like the quarter ply toilet paper and shit. Like you go to tie it, they just rip both of them. <laughs> You're like, well, there goes that idea. I'd be Fuck better it. off using it as a parachute than <laughs> fucking doing any of that. God, yeah. I, I could never, like, if if I had to go to a party and it meant tying blankets together, I'm not going to the party. <laughs> I can't get out, bro. I can't do it. Not only that, no, tie some blankets together. No, just like what the <laughs> fuck? I'm going next week. <laughs> what kind of psycho child is like? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tie every fucking cloth How many I have blank- in here. Like it would take longer for me to find the blankets and tie them together than it would to be to try to just go out through the front. You door. gotta walk through every fucking yeah. room in the house to get all yeah, these blankets. Yeah, my dad's gonna be like, "Hey, <laughs> I'm freezing. What are you doing? Where's all the blankets? <laughs> Where's my blanket? They won't notice I'm gone when they until they wake up and they're fucking ice cold. Yeah, honey, every sheet in the house is gone." Either our son's Check. in the KKK Check. or he snuck out. Check I don't know Danny's room. On. One or the two. Check Danny's room. Oh, man. No, the, uh, I, I never understood that Yo, either. not only that, but you know how brave you have to be to just throw yeah, this to thing out? Yeah, spelunk out of your fucking house. <laughs> and rappel down three floors? What are you, a psycho? <laughs> fucking kick it off yeah, the fucking and, second floor window and What and are you shit? tying that to? Like, People, a, like the, the bed radiator. Post. The radiator? But like even the bed post, like that should have fucking... Yeah, my, my, your bed gets dragged the to the... bed out, yeah. It yeah. should be like the fucking poultry guys. I had a spring mattress that weighed less than eight pounds, and then the bed was just a frame. Yeah. I would have dragged that thing out the window with me. Yep, 100%. God. 90s kids, or 90s, like 80s kids, I guess, were pretty brave. <laughs> yeah, that's an 80s thing. Jumping 80s out of suburbs, windows, like, living in fucking, like, the suburbs of Connecticut were doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Or they were On the Main ones... Street. They were the ones who, like, their, their fucking... The roof of their house was, like, not steep enough where they could walk on it. Like, fuck you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to hang those. out and like lay on there and yeah. smoke cigs. Yeah, smoke like unfiltered Marlboros and camels and shit. I like the concept of like when you see in movies like people like sneaking into their boyfriend's or girlfriend's window, like that's insane to me. You're climbing up the vines? Yeah. Like what you, are you, Tarzan? Look, I've been real horny before. Yeah. But not horny enough to put my body at risk. <laughs> not horny enough to scale the <laughs> side of a building <laughs> yeah. like I'm fucking Spider Man yeah. and crawl yeah. into your bedroom. She could be like, come up, I'd be like you know what? Nah. No, you I come give, down. I, I walk the door. <laughs> what the fuck? I would I'm give not it climbing up. I would give it like the college try, like literally one foot on the wall <laughs> and just be like, you know what? I'll come back next week when your parents are out of town. She's like, Jesus. No chance this is happening. No chance. Zero <laughs> percent. She's like, Do you have a fucking ladder? What do you want me to do? Yeah. I also hated it I get no, nah, I guess that's like a protection thing. Hey, this is what I mean. Bedrooms on the second floor. Mm-hmm. If I was a kid, I would always try to get a bedroom on the first floor. Or get the fuck out of there. I had my for when I was like going through like my like formative years, like mid, like sophomore year of high school on. <laughs> Why are you looking at my fingers? No, I'm just laughing at the. <laughs> you said my formative years. Well, those were the formative years. They formed. You're not on a job interview. I know. I know. <laughs> well, in my formative years, I. Uh, no, but like when I was an undergrad, like I usually caught up on rest on the like lower level of my middle of time. like middle school. To like college, my my room was in the basement, so I would just like walk out the back door. Yeah, yeah. I, I could do that too if I really wanted to. Like these whole like yo, like you didn't sneak out. Like no, I just walked the yeah. fuck out. See, yeah. we, see, I lived in an apartment, so we had to like <laughs> open the yeah, door. Yeah, that's rough. And my mom was always like one of those Puerto Rican women that like had to put something on the door that made noise for like every holiday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like just yep. open it. And, I, and then I asked her why. She was like, "Cause so I would know if you guys." Were I mean, around. don't get me I, wrong. I figured it out for some reason. I I never realized why she did that. <laughs> on Halloween one year, there was this thing near the front door that if you walked by it, it was like motion detector. I was like, <laughs> oh, yeah. so. That's scary. There was no getting out of that. No. House. I mean, I had natural fucking stoppers in my house, like the floor and. 
the stairs creaked <laughs> so much louder I mean, than the they've stairs ever... and his parents it house. was like, <laughs> like yeah. it was loud like you wouldn't be able to sneak out even if you wanted to yeah it was pretty fucking loud. my dad caught me coming up the fire escape hammer drunk one time <laughs> really yeah because they locked wait me. how'd you get up the fire escape i'll tell you so they... you jumped up no, no 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 so this is what happened i came home one night i went upstairs they locked the the apartment that me and my brother shared and their apartment what you had two separate apartments yeah because my family owned the building so oh, okay. so um we had like units that we could sleep in so there was two bedrooms me and mike and then my parents and my sister in the other apartment so i get home i'm fucking super wasted i'm like this one's not opening this one's not opening credit cards i'm trying fucking i'm trying to fucking <laughs> shove anything in there my wallet in there my fingers in there i can't get it so I go, you know, I'm gonna have to go to the fucking fire. So hold on, wait. I'm sorry, real quick. So credit cards didn't work. So you went straight for fingers, dude. I'm wasted. <laughs> I'm trying to pull the thing. I'm trying to. You, you see the part? You see the part of the door where it hinges on there? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I could pull the pins out. Oh, like, okay. I'm trying to like get in. At gotcha, 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 gotcha. So I go outside, and then the thing, the ladder, they're on a hook. So like the ladder is like this. So if you push it up. It'll come down. It'll come down. So I'm lowering it. Wait, how did you get it? I thought they were pretty high. No, 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 no. It's no, the second, second floor. You can get them. They're like a little bit above. So I just pushed up. And the ones in, in New York City are high. Some of them yes. are really high. Like yeah. you can't just grab them. No. This I think is, that's but because that's for people protection. protection. Yeah. 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 This is the suburbs. So I, I pushed up, brought the thing down, and I'm climbing up this thing. And this thing's not a tall ladder, but I'm hammered. Yeah. So it felt like I was climbing like Mount Everest. Yeah. So I get up there. I'm like, oh my! I, I'm thinking I'm being quiet, probably so loud, <laughs> hitting <laughs> everything. Just boom, boom. Your neighbors across the street smoking a cigarette. Like, look at this fucking. Yeah, asshole. yeah. It's like three thirty in the morning, and my dad. I open the window. And my dad just staring at me, <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, he's just staring at me." He goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" I was like, "You guys locked me out." He was like, "We thought you were home." He's like, and I was just like. Nah, and then he's like, <laughs> "Yeah," I was just like, "Nah," and then he fucking. I ended up waking up the next morning in a hospital. No, no, <laughs> on, no, on no, the no, fire no. escape. No, I ended up waking up the next morning. And my dad just being like, "Hey, what's up? Like, you all right?" I was like, "Yeah," and he was like, "All right, get off the kitchen table, though. That'd be nice." <laughs> you fell asleep on yeah. the <laughs> I have picture evidence too. It's hysterical. Oh my god, that's that is good. I I don't think I've ever like my parents haven't like caught me coming home drunk because like my mom look my mom was not advocating me to drink when i was young but she was just like look if you're gonna do it like just don't get in a car with anyone like and try to my parents never be, cared my parents really were smart. realistic and my too, yeah, yeah my dad like he didn't really give a fuck either but like yeah i don't think there was ever a time where i like I was, snuck like, out i never got caught i'm sure my parents would be upset about that i used to take my parents cars when i was 14 that's crazy 13 I 14 ne- I, I used to go nah, pick girls up and shit i, I never, never i car. never did that. i mean i would t- i took my mom's car but i had a license yeah no like, i was like 18 oh, no. when i was i was, taking my I was 13 car. 14 pushing the whip like, becca, becca nah. told me of a story where she took her parents car like i think she had her permit and she took it to like fucking connecticut connecticut yo she like took it like all like like two Wait, and how- a half hours like Jesus. that's crazy to me like taking cars is crazy but then she's like yeah i took it like that far i was like yo that's did that's you have a license it. I'm, I think she had like her junior's license or some shit. I'm not exactly right. what sure. What the hell is that? Oh, that's like, like a you, can't, permit? you can't drive. You can drive nine. between like 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. or something oh. like that. I I got pulled over a couple times with that, but they were like, I, just go home. I didn't drive until I had my license. You you were like that? I had a permit, but like I never I never used it. I never really drive before my license either. Really? No. I driven some of my friends' cars. Like what I've about your Devino's older brother? Car. Like your older brothers? They never took you. Like he didn't have a car. I see that, yeah. That's and he was I... also like away at college, but when I was like eighteen. Oh, okay, all right. And there was one time I had to drive my sister's car because she had to get like a tooth pulled, so she was all fucking drugged up. Yeah. So I drove from like like five blocks. But <laughs> you want to hear a funny story? <laughs> my friend Dominic went to get his wisdom teeth taken out, and he's like, "Yo, come with me, like you know, whatever." He's like, "Because I'm gonna be drugged up afterwards. I'm not gonna be able to get yeah. home." I was like, "Yeah, I'll drive you. Like it's cool." So I went with him. And I parked the car and then I'm sitting in the waiting room and I'm waiting around. It's like whatever it was, like 40 minutes. He comes out. This kid's, he looks all fucked up and he has like gauze in his mouth and there's like blood on him. Like he's bleeding out of his mouth. Disgusting. Yeah. So he's like, you know, whatever. So I'm like, all right, let's take you home, bud. We're walking back to the car and I'm like, you know, the car was right here. 
Oh. The car got towed. Oh. Stop. And there was a sign that was blocked by a tree that said no parking. And it just got Fuck. towed. So I was like, so I kept walking down the block. And then eventually I just turned around. And I was like, yo, I don't know where your car is. And he's like, what? And mind you, he has gauze mouth. So I was like, huh? Mm. Yeah. And, I'm like, yeah. and I'm like, I don't know where your car is. I parked it here. And he's like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I don't know where it is. And I was so like, fuck. Yo, that's so because I've never gotten a car towed before, and this was the first time. I don't know who who. Yeah, you spit all over the place. I, I don't. Who do you call when your car gets towed? You you can the call three one one. Oh, you can call the police department too, and they tell you exactly where. Yo, it that's is. like a that's like a honestly a fear of mine. Like I always feel like I'm gonna for some reason I could be like completely confident with where I parked, come back, and like the car just not be there. You know how much it is? One hundred eighty five dollars. I had to pay for it. And when I got there, it's infuriating. when I got there, because we eventually found it, but I we picked up his girlfriend and Davino, who had a car, and because uh, I was I had just like got, I was maybe nineteen years old when this happened, so I had a license, but I didn't have it for a long time. But we called Davino, and he was driving us around to a bunch of different lots because we we didn't have like we didn't, you call three one one or know, you don't or know the police department, doing. and they'll tell you where it is. Like they they tracked or whatever, but. We didn't know where it was. So we went to a bunch of different ones. We finally find it and I have to pay $185. The dude in front of me is the most sketchy, itchy looking guy. Yeah. Who's just like... Just a and, meth head. And the, the woman behind the counter is like, you need someone to co-sign for you. And I'm just standing behind him. And he's like, he's like, come on, man. I'm just going to drive it off. She's like, you can't drive it off the lot. But once again, it's onto the street, then you can take it. So he's like, you got to be kidding me. Like all this stuff and whatever. So she's like, those are the rules or whatever. So the guy just turns around. He's like, yo, you want to sign this for me? I'll give you 20 bucks. And I look at the lady. I'm like, and she's like, I was like, all right, fuck it. So I yeah. took his twenty dollars and I signed for him. One sixty five now. One sixty five. Yeah, I mean, yeah, hey, it was trash. Ship but away. I, also, my car got towed over here. Yeah, I remember you on my me block. About that. But I just called and they just moved it to a different place because they filmed like a movie on my oh, block okay. or something. You want to know what's weird? You never car tickets are like titties. Here's why. Here's why. Wait, this is a hot titties. Fucking Here's why. Take. Here's why. You ever imagine somebody's titties? They they never look like what you imagine them. I don't know. I think I have a pretty good. You think like, you, like you could tell like by looking at somebody like what their titties are going to look like. The reason kinda. I'm comparing it to a ticket is because I never know. I always think it's going to be like forty five dollars, and it's never forty five dollars. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> yo, I I, I like I, I'll look at it and be like. What is this? The, no, all right, ambulance, thirty-five bucks. So it's like a hundred and five dollars. I think I have a pretty good titty batting average, to be honest. You think with you. you could guess? I would it, say you could so. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm terrible. I could bet like two ninety. I think a yeah, ticket. I think yeah. And titties can't guess them. Tickets. I mean, the worst day of my life was when I got those three tickets when I was here. <laughs> three tickets on one yo, spot. I, How is that possible? I went in one spot. I, I was thought like, if you had a ticket, they can't give you another. Yo, one. I was literally one, and my car died that day. <laughs> We had to have some gun jump. Yo, I parked right before the no parking sign, like between eight, which you can't park around here. It's fucking impossible. Yeah, you can't. And I was literally like Sucks. eight, not even like two feet in front of that sign. I go to my car. One, it's dead. And it wasn't, there was no <laughs> ticket. We went and got food. I come back, dead ticket. And I'm like, fuck, we come up here. You're like, well, at this point, just leave the ticket on. Yeah, it. fuck so, like, it. No, you're good. At the, I come back up here. I, we go down. I move the car to another spot, which I think is like completely fine. <laughs> we black out hard off of fucking the dirt wolves. <laughs> it was a Wednesday, dude. We blacked out hard. We woke up so Thursday hard. morning at 3 a.m. Like, I don't know what happened here. And then I go to my car at 8 a.m. Two more fucking tickets on the car. <laughs> How much did you have them on? $180. Yeah. They were like, he was so kind. He was like, yo, let me what, help you. What did you, th like, you think they were going to be? And they were parking tickets, so I knew they were sixty dollars. I knew that one. I once got a like an incorrect ticket, and it was a hundred fifty dollars, and it was on my block. Yo, I was the most like soccer mom person in the. I wrote a novel, novel. I'm gonna need to speak to a manager. Fighting it, and I, and I ended it with, look, this is clearly an error on like the person who wrote this, and I forgive them, but I will not <laughs> pay this. You want to know? Uh, and, and hold I on, the worst them. fucking part is they were so wrong, so clearly wrong. They emailed me back saying, due to a computer error, we threw your ticket out. Yo, I lost my shit. I was like, a computer error? This person was like, I, yo, I was so mad. So mad. One time I took a ticket off a car as a kid. Like, for some reason, like, I was walking home. And, and I just, you're like, I'm going to take this. I just took it for some reason. 
That's awful. You know so that what? Person probably had like a warrant out for their arrest because of me. No, they no, they get them in the mail. Oh, they get them another one. Yeah, when no. you get a, yeah, when you get a ticket, it comes in the mail saying you have another thirty days uh, or like fifteen days. Oh, because they have like the registration. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. that guy was probably like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> probably <laughs> that little bastard. You but, could probably fight it though now, <clears throat> dude. I mean, if you were wrong, you can't you're fight wrong. tickets. Yeah. Here's why. There's an app for fighting tickets. If you go. The judge does not want to hear anything you have to say that day. So if you're like, you literally go there to enter a plea. That's it. So it's like when you pull up pull up to the judge and you can't be like, well, this is what happened. He goes, I don't care. Are you, are you pleading guilty or not guilty? I'm like, uh, uh, not guilty? All right, then we'll see you in court when you get scheduled. So you have to go to court and then go to court again. But now they have an. App. I'd rather pay sixty dollars. It's literally. Yes, I'd rather. I, I, I eventually. Yeah, I mean that's because it, it costs way more, and you you'd have to miss work. Like you'd end up losing money. You have to but lose another day. Yeah, it's true. They have an app now, and it's like it's called Payer Dispute. And I have parking. that, but it also says like you you throw that in there, but then you also like they'll give you a court date, and yeah. like I'm not showing up to this. You want to know another thing that they should make though too? You know how signs are so confusing to read in New York City. Yes. They should have bar, like, not barcodes, but like scan, like QR codes that you could scan to see if it's okay to park there. Word. Like at the sign. Well, like, yeah. You know, you know what I mean? Like, to, and you could scan it and it would validate if it's a good parking spot or, or not. So people don't fucking make accidental, accidental parking. Well, there are also fucking certain places where you can't park there, but the money, the, the meter will still take your money. Like, don't. Yeah. Don't fucking yeah. take my money if I can't park <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, fucking scumbags. I'm, uh, just like, there's a there's a fucking way you could say, hey, between 3 p.m. and 9, 8, 9 p.m., like, no one can park here, locks it off. So you're like, yeah. oh, shit. And then it's like, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, uh, 9 p.m., just let me scan it well, there's and a, be like, hey, it, green, lights up green. There's a sign there. down the block. It's like, no parking, and it's like, bookending signs. And it's like, all right, inside that, you can't park. So I'm like, all right, I'll park outside. And then on the outside, it's like, oh, no parking here either. I hate that shit. I was like, shit. why the fuck just put the, the double arrows? I hate that shit. I can't stand it. I yeah, can't it's stand terrible. It. I'm so happy I don't that have is, a car. That is, yo, a huge dude. advantage of Jersey, I will say. You could park fucking anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. That's nice about your new spot, though, too. Oh, There's parking over there. Yeah, hard. But uh, what I was going to say is when my car got totaled, the front and back smashed. They still never found that guy? I don't know. But the front and back is smashed. The side was smashed. I couldn't even get the driver's door open without yanking it. Two tickets. That's insane. Because it was in a spot where you wasn't supposed to be. Yo, I would have told them to I'm suck like, my what dick. kind of piece of shit bastard? That has got to be two tickets on this thing. The worst job on the planet. Because first of all, everyone fucking hates you. Yeah. And it's you bad, dangerous. can't like exercise like discretion at all. You know, I, I would be like, yo, like they're parked you can't in front move of the, this like, car. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this. You know what I mean? But like then I would lose my fucking job because it'd be like you didn't hit your quota. They say the the worst time for parking is between the at the beginning and end of each month. Because that's when people try to hit their fucking quotas. Word. That job so they, so is, they stay. Yeah. That job yeah, that job is a piece of shit job. Yo, though. awful. Literally the I feel worst. like it's dangerous. Like in I, certain yo, neighborhoods you get fucked up. Yeah. hundred percent. People see like writing tickets on their car, like I've seen people while out. I wish I was courageous. While out. Like, yeah, I'm a bitch, I was here though. for fucking two fucking seconds. You f I saw a dude curse this bitch out one time. Just, you fucking bitch. You fucking cunt. She was like, you know who I know. I was like, yo, dude, it's like a fire hydrant ticket. You parked in front of a fire hydrant, dude. Yeah, that shit is crazy. I was like, I, I, had, to, I had to say it to her. I was like, yo, yo, just relax, man. And he was just like, just fucking bitch, write me a fucking ticket. I was like, dude, there's a fire hydrant right there. The worst though, it happened to my dad. He said I was in my car, and I was in a hydrant, but I'm sitting in the car. Yo, I would and a guy just walks over and just beeps. And my dad goes, "What was that?" The guy's like, "I'm giving you a ticket. You're in a hydrant." He's like, "I'm right here. Just ask me to move it." Uh, like, I'm literally sitting in the car. Thankfully, that's never happened to me. But if that did, I don't know how I'd react. I'm a bitch though because when I came out of my new apartment, I was measuring stuff. My car was in a hydrant, but I have like a fireman yeah. thing in it for my dad. Yeah, it's, it's huge. like a retired fireman thing, and. It doesn't expire until 2022. So it's like sometimes you catch a break because of that. Which you definitely should use more often. I, I use it pr like a lot, especially over here, because it's like you can't park anywhere. And sometimes I'll be like, yo, fuck it. Like I'm leaving it and just taking a shot. Yeah. And for the most part, it's like 80%. I'll be, I'll be good. But I put it in a hydrant because I was only going to be there for five minutes. <laughs> and uh, I when I came outside, there was a cop near the car. And so I just like stood around because I was like, 
I'm not going to go over there and have this conversation. Like, I was wrong. So she you drove away, but I walked over. No ticket. Oh. Nothing is better than when you know you're parked illegally and you go back and the ticket's not there. Oh, it's great. I did and you're that. like, ah, 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 yes. Yeah. Yo, for work a few weeks ago, I parked like right right before, <laughs> like on a road right before the George Washington Bridge. <laughs> ah, yes. And I knew, like it was like clear as day, I was in front of a hydrant. I ran and I would just like kept looking back to see if there were like cop cars passing and everything. I was like, yo, that's it. I have a ticket. And like aren't hydrant tickets like 300 bucks? They're bad. Are they? Yes. They're awful. They're Yo, awful. I don't know what I would do. Those ones and blocking like driveways of like um, businesses of businesses. Well, you you know it's still like you're ne- not even allowed to park in front of your own driveway. Really? Yeah, you can get a ticket for it. Yo, another thing I don't understand is we have alternate side because they clean the streets. Ugh. They do, but they do don't. they clean? They do, the the thing the big machine comes, but it doesn't do anything. But they, that's that what I'm saying. That machine covered in new ports in like three minutes. Not only that, but it's like it's a big circular brush brush that comes by and spins and it just knocks all of it into the street. Are I we know. cleaning? Or are we just moving stuff around? No, yeah, it's yeah. the dumbest shit. That's I, moving. That's like the epitome of like putting stuff under the rug. And yo, I am the biggest, most Except, petty. No, it's literally person. like just taking it and just putting it here. Literally, it's, you, it's sweeping it, it. It's sweeping it under the rug, but there's no fucking rug. Right, you're just sweeping it over. At least with the rug, you're covering it, and it looks clean. That's true. Just I am the true. most petty person because if I'll go outside and I'll literally walk by cars that are I know are parked illegally and they don't have tickets, and I'm like, yo, I'm I want to lose my shit so bad. I want to like put like fake tickets on their car to like fucking ruin them, but I don't. Dude, there was one time where I came outside, and I had the fireman thing in the window, and like. The car in front of me and the car behind me both had tickets and mine didn't. And I'm like, wow, I feel like a piece of shit right now. Nah, man. <laughs> Don't feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. I you got the bad. paperwork. I felt bad. You got the paperwork. Hey, my father put his life on the line for me. I almost I mean, not paid this ticket. I almost I mean, used, I mean, I almost used yeah, one of did. my ex-girlfriend's dad's PBA card not long ago. Dude, I love... I use my girl's mom's like, no, no, ex, handi- like handicap thing. Like two years removed ex-girlfriend father's PBA card. <laughs> I, I've, I've fake Imagine lived. they followed up on it. We're going to call this... Yeah, you're fucked. Yeah, I would have been like, yeah, just give me the ticket. Yo, I love being in the car. I have never been pulled over by a cop before in my life. I, I got have. pulled over for the first time. I have time no a few idea where my registration is, by the way. I'd be like, here's my license. You're going to have to help me look for this registration, yeah. though. But uh, I'm I was, I've been in the car with some friends, and they get pulled over. And I love when they hand the PBA card. The cops always just like, I don't give a fuck about this. Yeah. It's my favorite. Yeah, sometimes like, they don't. Because your friends always just like, got it. And he's like, yeah, it's fucking great. Shit on that. Wipe his fucking ass with it. Yeah, I got pulled over for the first time a few weeks ago because uh, in Manhattan because of these fucked fucking between 7 a.m. and uh, 11. Did you say fuck-cock? Fuck-cocked. What does that mean? Like fuck-cocked. Like they're fucking, they're fuck-cocked. They're all fucking weird, like stupid. Fuck-cocked? Yeah, fuck-cocked. you never heard that? No. Uh, no, no one says fuck-cocked. I've, a, a lot of people I know say fuck-cocked. I thought you said, I thought you were trying to say like fucked and cocked and yeah. then accidentally fuck cocked. Maybe. No, I mean, it's a cool sounding word. Like, it's all fuckocked. I would use it. I yeah. feel like that's a term girls should use. Like, I fuckocked. Like, I fuckocked. Like, you just fucked him, fucked him, fucked him. Because you just fucked a cock. They're all fuckocked. Yeah. I, all... like, I like it. Fuck-cocked. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. As I was saying, it, it was one of those things that's like. So, who was fuckocked? The, the rules. The rules oh, were fucked. Oh, the rules were fucked. The rules were fuckocked. We're fucking um, cock. <laughs> Well, they did. They did fuck my cock. Yeah, they did fuck, uh, fuck It cock. was like one of those like no turning between 7 a.m. and 11 a.m. And then no turning between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. No turning between 8 p.m. And it's just like, yo, just let me... No turns or let me turn. And yeah. I made the turn and the guy pulled me. He's like, you know what? I pulled you over. I'm like, uh, no. Not really. There's a fucking... I, I said, I was like, this- honestly, no, officer. He's like, all right, you turned when you were not supposed to. I was like... I wouldn't have been able to tell you. He's like, all right, well, unfortunately, I got to give you a ticket. I'm like, all right, whatever. Did you be like, hey, man, your rules are fucked? <laughs> I didn't I didn't tell him about his <laughs> fucked rules. Uh, why don't you go fuck yourself, right? <laughs> uh, you know, I'm also, look, I'm Hispanic. I got pulled up. Uh, I, I need to be a little careful. No, I've been racially profiled. I don't think I have, thankfully. Knock on wood. I was picking up my girlfriend from Columbia one time. Like the university or? <laughs> no, the university. Or, or the country? <laughs> no, no, no. That that I would flew get. my plane over to Colombia to pick her up real quick. Had cocaine in there. Pulled me over. Whatever. No, but they pulled me over, and the first thing the guy said, "What are you guys doing here?" I was like, "I'm I'm picking up my girlfriend. My cousin was with me in the passenger seat. Listen to this." So I was like, "I'm picking up my girlfriend. And we're going back to Westchester." 
He was like, why are your seats so far back? It's like, what does that mean? Yeah. So now my cousin, who's Italian, looks whiter, just goes, are you serious? He goes, dude, there's people out here selling coke and fucking crack, and you're pulling us over for this? He's like, what's the matter with you? He was like, both you guys don't have seatbelts on, and wrote me and him no seatbelt tickets. And you were parked? Which those are pricey too, right? No, no, no. He, he waited for us to leave, and I was just driving, leaned back, and I had like my hood on, and I was driving, going to get ready to get on the West Side Highway and come back. Did you not have a seatbelt on? I had my seatbelt on, but I took it off. John didn't have his. Wait, why did you take yours off? Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Because I got pulled over and I just wasn't really You're thinking. literally like just supposed to stay hands on the wheel. I took the keys out of the ignition. I put them on the fucking dashboard. I did the whole fucking shebang. The only thing I did was take my fucking seatbelt off. It was, you but, know what that situation was? Fakakt. Fakakt. I got fakakt. Racially fakakt. You got yeah. racially fakakt. One time I got, actually, oh, I actually a, I did I had, get pulled over. I had a big bushy beard at the time. I did little, get pulled over once. It's a little sketch. I was leaving a hookah lounge. Hello. Hookah? Not good for you. Not great for you. But anyway, I've I was never, leaving a hookah lounge. You, you've smoked hookah? Yeah. Uh, I, I, it's not good. When I heard that they had milk flavor, I was like, y'all never try this <laughs> ever in my life. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, but I was leaving and I had a hat on mm-hmm. and then a hood over like just on my ears. And I was driving and some cop like, it was a DT who pulled me over. Yeah. And then I was like, what's up? He didn't even ask for anything. And he just said, like, he's like, take your hood off and your hat. Yeah, like, what are you like, doing here? Yeah. Right. And then he just told me to leave. I was like, I've had that. that? I've well, had that happen to me before. I think, I, and I'm not sure about this, but I think it's like you're not supposed to drive with a hood on. Um, like The hood might be true. Yeah, I think I think that might be a case. You're like, not allowed to drive with your shirt off. Yeah. I don't not. think you're. Why? I also don't know it's if you're allowed. It's a distraction to other drivers. I don't know if you're allowed to drive with. Yeah, it um, is. Yeah. Headphones, headphones in. I don't think you're allowed yeah, to drive with headphones. Yeah, I think that's dumb. I see people doing it all the time. I had a buddy whose radio was dead and he used to drive around with headphones on all the time. I'd be like, what are you doing, man? Yeah. That's not, I, that doesn't even make sense. Like, I need to hear what's yeah. going on here. Yeah. I need to hear what's going on here. Was your watch telling you to go fucking run up a hill or something? No, a, a med's texting me. <laughs> oh, oh, you got text on there too? Yeah, it shows like some text. It's a smart watch. It's, it's a smart watch, but Why he had to put it in. Apple watch? He said, you know let's hang is- someday soon. Oh, it's, yo, it's a smart watch, but he had to put in it's a running watch. Yeah, that's a smart it's watch. It's a then. running. I thought you just got like one that because you know what, text. this is a running watch too. Yeah, it is. It's just made by Apple. No, there's no like the uh, like. Is it by Garmin? Yeah, of course it is. Fucking, what does that mean? That's a good guess. Of course, it's you made know by more Garmin. about running watches than I do because I just learned this because I bought it. Of course, it's but made Apple Watch. Well, I, I would have thought you would have got an Apple Watch or an Apple guy. No, they're very expensive. This one was one hundred fifty bucks. Oh, now you worry about price, but you you, you don't care when your. How much was your Apple Watch? I don't priceless. Don't it was a gift. Yeah. <laughs> How much was it? Six hundred dollars. Mine was no. mine was four ninety nine. Yeah, I honestly, I don't, I don't know because mine was a gift. I really and don't. I only need it. Like I don't need to. Hello, hello. Like I'm fucking. James Bond. Well, this thing to- does everything that yours does and a little bit more. Yeah. Right. So but I don't not? I don't need to pay four hundred dollars for the extra shit. I don't need any of that. I don't I mean, need to watch YouTube videos. No, I don't you're think they're four hundred. I think you're perfectly content. I, my brother it. got his uh uh for his I hope Julie is not listening. Oops. For his girlfriend for her birthday. Um he got When's a, her birthday? It was a few like last month or two months ago, whatever. So why Wait, so, the, saying, so, so, so then it, she has it. he got it for like three twenty. Oh, it was not that expensive. It was like three twenty plus tax. Oh, that's a great that's a great amount yeah. of money to spend on a gift, though. Yeah, no, but uh, you it's know, a ton. people don't like telling you know their significant others what they spend on them. <laughs> I don't fucking know. So I don't know about you guys, but if anyone ever saved one of my dead relatives' tattoos, I would fucking <laughs> <laughs> lose my shit. <laughs> Including if it was my brother's awful fucking tribal tattoo that they got at eighteen. <laughs> you would never get a tattoo. I don't have one. Would I get one? I think I would. I'm surprised you don't. I don't have any piercings. Frank's gonna get Iron Man's dick. That's what I would have thought. I would have thought that you've gotten like some kind of like I've want yo like Marvel spider, tat. S- like Spider Man webbing. Yo, I've honestly like over the last like year, I've thought more and more about it. But I know what I would want would be way more expensive than what I currently make. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, if I were to get, like, I'd want it to be, like, a fucking dope, like, mural and shit, like, around my arm and, like, down on my hands and, like, like. Whoa, like a whole sleeve? 
I would get. I would get you a look, sleeve. You look good with a sleeve. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate yeah. that. Honestly, you look like Adam Levine if you got a sleeve. Oh yeah, Adam Levine's a smoke. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm but not saying it to make fun of you. He's I'm not. Just, he's not the hottest guy out there. He's like he's a, a hot, hot fucking guy. I don't know. He's no, a little. Fr- he's a little he, fruity looking. He's and he talks like this. Yeah. He has a little bit of a high voice. Hey, Adam Mom. Levine. Hey guys, I'm Adam Levine. He does not sound like that. Yeah, yeah he, he does. does. No, he doesn't. Yeah, yeah, he does. yeah he's a little high. You sound like Mike Tyson. No, Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson here. Adam Levine is right here. Like, like. That's the same right thing. Here. You're just tongues in between your teeth. Hey, I'm. I think you're right, great. Adam Levine is more like, hey guys, it's me. I'm Adam Levine. That was that was pretty good. Adam Levine sounds nothing like that. Yeah, he does. He's like, hey guys, it's me, Adam Levine for proactive. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. hey, hey, do you want to be on my team or Blake? I'm at a like, First of all, Maroon Five has bangers. Adam Levine. I'm not saying they're dates not a fucking VS model. I'll take married that. and. He he sounds same thing with David Beckham. You, know, I saw David Beckham. I was like, this dude is is a good looking dude. And he opens his eyes like, I I um I have my underwear on and uh, play soccer, play footy. <laughs> <laughs> he is not what I thought. I thought he was gonna sound like, yeah, it's up on David Beckham. But he was yeah. like, mm, yeah, I made the posh boys and uh, I like play footy with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you he know sound. who's got a crazy uh, Shawn Michaels, <laughs> dude. The, the uh, wrestler. Uh, uh, I, I, I know. <laughs> let me tell the thing. Yo, his um, eye is awful. His, I'll give someone the sweet chip music yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I'll toot up the band. His eyes are it's like, yo, listen. Um, <laughs> you know, back in the '90s, in the Attitude Era, yeah. it was. Tough. Let me tell you, back when I was a good re- like yo, his voice. It yeah. sounds like literally someone's got their fist in his mouth. Yeah, like, he's taking it's a like, couple. Uh, of- yeah, fucking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard a voice yeah. like that before. It's so life. weird. It's true. And he's so cross-eyed. It's oh my god, it's so bad. He it's got, not even he, a cross. He got it's, how it's did he really get just I think he got into like too many bar fights. He's literally just like Yo, I took you don't a, know where my he's brother living. Nick sends me pictures of him all the time, <laughs> and it's the funniest fucking thing because they, they, he took he did one where he was in a new movie and he's like, This cowboy's angry, and it's like him like <laughs> and I almost so fucking, dupe, yeah. I, I pissed my pants. God, Degeneration X, <laughs> brother. <laughs> Nothing is, makes me happier than people whose voice does not match what they look like. Oh, yeah, that's what he does. Like you play see, David Beckham's like he's a hot guy though, and he's like fucking shirtless and ripped. Yeah. And they ask him like, oh, "All right, David, what do you think about that game?" He'd be like, "It was one of the better games I've played in a while." <laughs> <laughs> like it does not line up. It it's doesn't true. line it's up. True. Adam Levine's the same way. Like, you see Adam Levine and you think he'd be like, yeah, what's up? What's He's up? like, yeah, hey, what's up? I'm Adam Levine, dog. Same thing with yeah. Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake and other like, oh, yeah. yeah. He's like a Muppet. I could see his voice being like that, though. Do you think I have a good voice? You? It, like like an actual like talking voice? I think I... Is your voice deeper than mine? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> he, <just> doesn't <laughs> he, he dropped it. So. Doesn't, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think, think so. I necessarily I have like a deep voice. I hate the sound of my own voice. I don't enjoy the sound of my I don't, own voice. Yo, either. spoiler, don't listen to any of the podcasts I'm on. I don't listen to them. Why now. would you? You lived it. Well, I, I, would, I don't listen to them. Gordon and Nick. Do Nick you? listens to I need to get bad at what I do. This is my craft. No, I mean, I, some people listen to the podcast, but I don't. I don't listen to. I don't listen to things that I'm on because I, I live. I it. hate. I know what happened. I know, and I hate the sound of my own voice. I hate it so yeah. much. I hate the. Yeah, I hate the sound of your voice. Fuck you. <laughs> yo, that David <laughs> Beckham okay? impression. Danny, you all right? You going? You good over there? <laughs> oh, that was a weird laugh. That was creepy. Actually, I didn't like that at all. Yo, you're gripping onto that nose pretty heavily. Yo, your nose looks like the tip of a penis right now. Stop. Let me see. Look at it. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, if you put like a little hole in it, that's a pee-pee. It's a... Oh, what a oh, good time. Man, sorry. I was trying to hold. I didn't want to you got lie. a pretty big schnoz over there. Not bad. No, it's just like thick. It's got girth. Yeah. It's, got, it's a powerful nose. It's a power nose. Yeah. I got like a sharp one. Look at this. Yo, Becca. No, you got a good nose. Nah, I don't like it. Becca, really? You don't family. like your nose? You guys got pow- yours yeah. is pretty powerful too. Pow- Becca said she's like, I love a powerful nose on a man. I'm yeah. like, what? That yeah, your shit. Your, looks, your nose looks like an emoji. Really? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of power in it. You got a good nose. A lot of power in it. That's really nice. You got. I got like a bitch ass nose. No, I'm yours. Like, yours is very like. You know how people say like, oh, you have nice cheekbones. Like yeah. you have nice definition to your nose. You have. Mm-hmm. You got a good symmetry of the face. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why you're such a good looking person. Your face is perfectly symmetrical. Oh, I don't agree with that. Good. You got good facial you got good facial facial symmetry. Yeah. But your voice isn't like it's not that man, it's not manly. 
None of us have a manly voice. No, I have a manly voice for sure. Yeah, you did. <laughs> dropped it. You no, dropped it. No, I, I have a manly voice. I'll talk to you voice. like this. I think I sound like this. When I, when people I'm, say I sound like Seth Rogen all the time on the fucking I've thing. I've never heard that. When, I, when I'm aware I of ne- what I, I sound I do not like, understand why people think I sound like him. I don't know. When I'm aware but of what I sound that. like, I get a little yeah, uh, deeper. You know, when I'm aware and I want to fix it, I get a little back here. But like when I'm actually like talking, I can get like up here sometimes. Oh, yeah, I get high. I, I, get, I get real high. And my voice cracks. Oh, yeah, I'm a bitch. That's all good. You're not a bitch. No, it's fine. Your voice crack. All I know is your noses are gonna beat mine in a fight, like for certain. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything of mine will beat yours. In I a have fight. like a door, like a doorknob <laughs> nose, except thing. looks, and dick probably. <laughs> Should we have a dick off, extra Joe? A dick off. Yeah, just what, see. like slap them against each other. No, just use packing more heat. Oh, could do it. You should do it. <sighs> can't do it <laughs> what i was about to say was so outlandish i do not want to say i would it. say it no no, no now we need to hear no it. i was gonna say <laughs> me and joe took our penises out and blindfolded frankie and he had to guess whose penis it was yo for the story <laughs> yeah that's honestly one of the gayest game shows that would be the gayest life. thing yo, of all I, time yo if it like i would i would do it uh, first of all blindfolded frankie coming out of the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> and we're both just like no, I would be sitting stationary, and you guys would be coming at me when I am blindfolded. I'm not coming at you. Dude. If you wore like white, if you wore like those white gloves, those like white satin gloves. White Didn't your sat- sister wear them for I'll her let, wedding? Can I'll I borrow you- them for this? <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow them for this? I'd let you if, you, if it was like that. Because I could probably, off texture alone, I could probably tell you whose dick is whose. <laughs> what does that mean? He's he, Danny, and this isn't an insult. You look like you have more like. There's more texture to your dick. Like yours is probably like sleek, silky smooth, sleek like a baby, silky smooth. Like Danny's has like seen some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like his is a weathered, yeah. like veteran, a grizzled vet. Yeah, my penis is battle hardened. You're yeah, <laughs> you have the David Beckham of dicks, probably. Yeah, it's got I, a high pitched voice. It's and then yeah, as soon as it starts, you have a satin penis. I have more of like an iguana penis. Yeah, corduroy. Yeah. Your dick. You have the Danny Trejo of dicks. I bet. Yeah. Got it. Whoa. And you have like the fucking Antonio Banderas. Yeah. Like it's seen some shit, but it's not Danny Trejo. Yeah. Whoa, I'll but, take but, Antonio but, Banderas. Dude. Yeah, but my dick will kick your dick's ass. Yo, Danny Trejo will fuck your dick up. Yeah, yeah but... And that voice of yours. Uh, <laughs> the voice of yours. <laughs> I think He's I'm, there, James Earl Jones. I think I'm perfectly fine the way I'm, uh, I'm speaking. I'm not dropping my voice this at would all. Be, this, would, this is how I talk. <laughs> this would be dropping my voice. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. Is, me, this is me talking. Yeah, you're mm. real. You're real. Um, yeah, I got you. Dog. I'm real as fuck. Yeah, Did you see how the difference. No, just it's not. In those I, know, I got you. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, I think we should wrap this up. We've been going for a while. All right. Where can they find you, Dan? At Dan Lapierre on Twitter and Instagram, please. Frank F Alvarez eight zero eight five Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah. The piano. You typing? Uh, yeah, I guess I am. And I do a wrestling podcast, and I'm going to be recording shortly called The Squared Circle Jerks. Yeah, brother. On Twitter, Danny's been on there a few times. At SCJ Pod, Joey's been on there a few times too. But I have. So, uh, but yeah. Also, guys, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, it's patreon.com slash the basement yard. Go check it out. P A T R E O N dot com slash basement yard. And go follow our Instagram at the basement yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. Mm-hmm. Bye.